Hey everyone, welcome to another class with Cherry Top Crafts. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica. And today we are art journaling. Yes. It's be a lot of fun. Have you ever yeah. made an art journal? Yeah. Uh let us know like what what type of a journal yeah. do you work in? Um, what size? Or are you afraid to start? Yeah, I hear I hear that a lot. Or like and mm -hmm. then we could all kind of go over different art journal slash junk journal. Phrases can really be yeah. used interchangeably. Yeah. And I think but. we use a little bit of everything today. We kind of didn't know what we're going to use. So we, yeah. you should see our setup here. Once <laughs> we, again, we've just grabbed everything. We have watercolor. We have inks. We have different kind of texture paste. Um, sprays. Sprays. Papers. A little bit of everything. Yeah. And I've, then we have our new craft mats that yep. we are going to be using. Um, these are online now. Got those up. And they're just really nice to keep your mess in one spot <laughs> yes yeah i've been using them a bit and it is very nice yeah. they stay much cleaner hi angela hi flora glad you guys could join um yeah so we're, we were just talking about like what, what should we start with first i think yeah. i'm gonna start with water coloring so i can kind of let my background dry and then I don't know, like <laughs> grab some stencils and we're gonna kind of make it up as yeah, we go. Yeah, I don't really know either. <laughs> I wanted to, I like kind of just tested something on this page. So I kind of want to gesso over yeah. this and have like a blank slate to work on. And then, and know, then we'll I want, see. and then we'll see. I know yeah. I want to add some paints, maybe some texture paste. Yeah. Stamping. Jennifer's here. Hello, Jennifer. Uh, so with art journals, junk journals, you really can put whatever you want in it. There are no rules. Yeah. So I grabbed some photos too. I might be using some of these. I might not. Uh, Jess, you're going to go no photo. Yep. I don't have photos, but yeah, just we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of our motto for all classes. Like, yeah. we'll, we'll see, we'll what see how it starts. <laughs> uh, and I think art journaling it's something you do and it's like it can be so therapeutic yeah um like you don't have to have a super thought out plan yeah you can, it can just be like just practice yep, with the medium yeah or, or just kind of go with it just practice some cool. layering um yeah yeah i had yeah i think i just was testing out a stencil oh, on okay. this page yeah yeah um i yeah uh, i have some random test pages in here too like what what was they doing i don't know but i think <laughs> gessoing a page is never a bad idea anyways right so i'm just adding some gesso over here mm -hmm. this brush was dirty <laughs> <laughs> there's a good possibility i just <laughs> went to wet it <laughs> i'm gonna <trade> you water <laughs> oh i think it actually is on the bottom of the cup oh the bottom of the cup yeah Okay, so start with a clean cup of water, <laughs> not like arms. Uh, so what paper are we using? I'm using, um, this is mixed media paper. It's mm. in a uh, Finnebear uh, journal. Mm -hmm. And I like this journal because it's half white pages and then there are half craft. Um, so I can kind of I go. totally thought that was a bug. <laughs> it's not. It's I, a little piece of thread, but I it added, really uh, looks like one. stitching <laughs> on this side um so i'm just going to paint over yeah it. um i'm using watercolor paper this is a book i actually made in a different class um with the we are cinch maker mm. thing and with a resin cover yeah and so i put watercolor paper in here because i knew that will hold up to most mixed mm -hmm. medias and stuff so um I'm just kind of going with some blues because that's what I go towards mm -hmm. and I'm kind of doing my two corners mm -hmm. and and, and we'll just in. go in and see what happens. I feel like doing the two corners is a good, like it just frames it nicely. Yeah, it's, it's a good nice start. for your eyes to yeah. kind of come in. Yeah. So I'm just kind of using these blue and like a green. This is the Alta New watercolor set. And they are such pretty, pretty colors. Okay. My page is pretty well gessoed. It's not a perfect cover, but I think it's good enough. Good enough. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Teresa. Welcome to our class. Welcome. Uh, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're doing we're junk journal, junk, art journal. Yeah. 
Yeah, what phrase do you usually call yeah, it? Yeah, junk call journal, it junk journal or art journal? Or art journal. I use both. If, yeah, for me, I, 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 I feel like I use art journal more if I'm using, like, an actual journal I bought yeah. or something, yeah. like an actual bought one, where junk journal... I think of, like, if I made the journal out of, like, scrap papers, oh, then I tend to call that more of a jur- journal. Okay. But really, yeah, it's, you can go either way. Either way, yeah. I think recently I've been using art journal more. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just easier to say. Shorter. Art journal. Art journal. And you're junk not calling journal. it junk. <laughs> yeah. I'm not calling it junk. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes that'll be a little weird. Look at my junk. Look at my junk. But yeah. yeah, so what do you guys call it? Let us know in the comments. I like how this is drying. This is yeah, it's kind of just like a random watercolor look. My no plan look. Teresa said that she says they are art journals. It doesn't have any junk journals. Oh, okay. I think it can also depend on what you're putting in it. I yeah. feel like if it's more painty. Then it's more art. Then it's more art journal. Where if it's more scrap, scrap page, pe- mm. pages. So like, I don't know, like scrapbook pages or scrap. Like I've even seen people grab mail. Oh, like yeah. envelopes or st- just more paper. Like things that you collect, maybe. Mm. But yeah, like I do memorabil- think it can be. Memorabilia. Yeah. <laughs> Talking is hard. <laughs> yeah. Um. I see some of those videos of on um, on TikTok and forever that they're like putting the art journal together so that mm-hmm. all the like the ripping and tear sounds and like mm-hmm. really fun. Mm-hmm. Um wash tape, I see a lot of those too. Oh yeah. Wash tape. I pocket, always paper. forget to wa- use wash tape. I know, tape. I do I would too. So like to use it more. Maybe I'll set out some yeah. so I can maybe use it. Let's see. Um, that's, Teresa's making little golden reminder. books as journals, best as grandkids. That's fun. Oh. Uh, Angela calls it art or mixed media journal. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Mixed yeah, I'll say journal. mixed media um, journal yeah. if I'm using, like, as I have a mixed media pad of paper. Uh-huh. I feel like I, I'll call that mixed media journal. Yeah. This one, it's got a bit of both. Right. Like, it's got the craft and the white paper. Right. So I feel like I lean more towards right. art journal for this one. Clint says hello. Hello, Clint. Hi, Clint. Clint works here. <laughs> if you didn't know, he likes to ask us really random questions on our lives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the question today? Clint? Yeah, Clint, what is the question today? <laughs> um, I'm liking this so far. My page mm-hmm. isn't fully dry yet. Um, but I'm going to start using, this is, um, some Sizzix Creamy Acrylic Paint, and I'll just put it in a few little areas, Mm -hmm. and just kind of roll with it. Angela says she loves using washi tape in your planner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have used some in my planner. See, I forget to use washi tape. We need to have it out on our desk. That's, that's why I put put this stack here. Okay. I plan to use it because... I, yes. There are so many cute washi tapes, I know, and I think and I it can just add I forget to grab a really nice border, mm-hmm. um, or it can just like accent certain things, and I just always yeah. forget about it. Clint, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Thank <laughs> you, Clint. <laughs> Good one. We don't have an answer. No, we'll, we'll just ignore that one. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a real question about art journals junk journals mixed media we will be happy to answer that somehow if, if we know but we're not experts we kind of um we just learn as we go really that's the best way to do it just, yeah just try I, I just looked up at her screen and i was like wait why do our journal pages look the same <laughs> Like from a part, they do. Yeah, they do look a little similar. Yeah, they're not. Mine looks, mine's more greener. In yeah, person. I'm going to add some. This is uh, liquid acrylic, and I really like using this. And I like this deep color. Yeah. Oh, Quinn says we have one of those washi tape holders around here somewhere. Oh, oh the yeah. We are memory one. Yeah, that'd be perfect, Clint. We should have that out. 
just stick it right here. In yeah, the I feel like if you have something <laughs> nice to organize your stuff in, it makes you want to use it more. Yeah. Our stuff is mostly organized, but yeah. kind of like in different places. We have yeah. stuff in our office, <laughs> and then we have like a whole shelving unit over there, and then we have a bunch of filing cabinets with all kinds of stuff. Yeah, how do you, the, you should, yeah, yeah. how it's do you guys over. organize your stuff? Yeah. Like, yeah, like I said, most of our stuff is in a filing cabinet. Just yeah. because we had some extra filing cabinets, and I was like, might as well use them. Might as well. But I feel like when you organize your stuff in a cute way, it makes it even more fun to use. Right. Okay. How is the mat? Clint, the mat is great. Yeah. This is a nice mat. It's really easy to clean. Easy to work with. I like that. So big. Yeah. I like the size. And I like that um, if you let your paints harden on it, you can just take a palette knife and scrape them off. Because a lot of times... When I'm in the middle of making something, I don't really think about the cleanup right then. Yeah. So it's Leave nice. It to later. Yeah. yeah, it's nice yeah. to just wait. I don't know how much to do here. I, I think either. I like to use some leave some white space. Yeah. And oh, that's really pretty color. Right? This is like my is favorite color. This is um Perusian per 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 blue. Perusian blue. <laughs> yes. It's the yeah, liquid acrylic oh, from yeah. Finnebar. That one's really nice. It, they have some really good, rich colors. And with these colors, you can also mix them with water so you can get, um, so you can work with them more like a watercolor too. Mm -hmm. That's really which fun. is pretty cool. Teresa has bookshelves and bins. Mm. Yeah. Maybe we just need more, like another bookshelf in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. We both just said okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> just gonna add a little bit of splatter around my blue. Oh dear. <clears throat> Might need to move it from yours. Good idea. Yeah. I'm going to splatter it. I almost Here. forgot about something. We just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, that works. Yeah. Crafting with friends. This is how you do it. Yep. Put up whatever you have in the middle. Like yeah. a paper trimmer. <laughs> paper trimmer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they make those different, like, splatter boxes. Yeah, yeah. Tim Holtz has one. I'll do a little bit more. But I don't... I did my big ones. I just didn't want to hit you with one of my big, my big splatters. I'm doing some kind of light. Oh, that is. Ooh, some big ones too, I guess. It's not mixed media without some splatters, right? Apparently, I need more water. Okay. my splatters a little bit into my white space. I don't even know if you can see that on screen, but let me show you a little up close. So there's my watercolor, just some dried different kind of layers. Um, sometimes like, I like to just pull it out in front of me. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Get the, a look at it. Composition wise. I might go a little bit darker in the corners. I don't know. Let's see. Right I think this page looks too much like an E. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just add some of that. No more E. Yeah, sometimes like you get like something that looks too perfect or too, too much, much like a like letter. Something. You're like, oh, <laughs> nope. One time when that. we were painting our mural behind here, oh, we yeah. didn't notice until we walked back, but we had painted a flamingo. Yeah, it looked like, it looked just like just a flamingo, a flamingo, like the a nice outline. How did, and it how do you do that? It perfectly With looked two like people a flamingo. painting. Like we did not and notice it because we were just trying to go for an abstract look, but then your abstract starts looking like a real thing. <laughs> here's a flamingo, <laughs> and then we're like, oh no, we got to fix that. Yeah. I don't, yeah. 
Um, so this is some vellum, a vellum journaling pad, again from Cinnabar. And there's some really cool pages in here. Like they have that oh, yeah. antique like look and it comes in two different colors. So yes. like this more old orangey yellow and then a white. I'm liking this page. Yes. Yes, we do carry that color, the virgin blue. I think it's in stock. It's in stock. I think so. I think it is. Um, last I checked, it's it Prima. Was. And it is it's newer. A, it's a liquid uh, acrylic. Yep. Is that what it's called? Yep, liquid, liquid acrylic. acrylic. And it's really cool because um, when it dries, it's permanent and it sets like it's acrylic. But when it's wet, you work with it like it's watercolor. So, like, you can mix water into it and paint it around and add more water, which is really cool as an acrylic. Mm -hmm. If you do that with regular acrylic paints, it often breaks down um, and can chip off. So, it doesn't do that. So, I want to add this somewhere. My page is still wet. Yeah, I'm still wet, too. <laughs> And let's see, what else do I want to add? I wanted to add some texture paste. Mm -hmm. so maybe... I'm going to be using some rice paper. Oh, yeah. Just because it's so fun. And we get questions a lot about this, too. Like, where, how, how do you, do you use, use rice it? paper? Where do you use it? You can use it wherever you want paper, really. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's thinner, and it's easier to, um, like, tear and work with... Um, you can just like mod podge it to anything really. Mm -hmm. I, I've done a book cover before. All I did was mod podge it yeah. around my book cover. Yeah. And, that and then it's really cool. It looked cool. And yeah. it was, yeah. It was quick. So for this, for today, I probably will just tear some pieces off and put it in there. I think I'm going to do texture paste too. And wash tape. Don't forget the wash oh, tape. Oh my gosh, the washi. <laughs> I already forgot. Oh, yeah. It's sitting right there. I know. I, I have some more if you want. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, oh, I do like these. Yeah, we have a little collection here. <laughs> I do like that. Yeah, oh, I do like that. Oh, I want to pull this one out. This one matches my colors. Mm -hmm. I do like that. See, like, they're so cute. I know. And I we just, just forget to we use just them all the time. Oh, I also really like these mushrooms. I, like I don't think I'll use them today, though. I like them all. I like all the wash things. I need a dryer when you're done. You can use it. <laughs> mine will, mine will be a little bit. I might just get going on some adding some texture paste. Yeah. And, I mean, because that takes a little bit to dry, too, so it's fine if it's not. My, I don't even think my gesso is all the way dried yet. That's fine. Mm. Okay, so this is some dimensional paste from Sizzix. It's their um, their new texture paste. So you use it like any other texture paste. Yeah, they have a few different things. Yeah. Um, um, but, so the, this is the dimensional paste. There's that they also have one expanding Expand. paste, um, which you use with a heat gun, and then it like bubbles up. So it depends what look you're going for. I like these colors together. If you've seen some of my other projects, um, <laughs> I feel like might have they used start it. looking a little yeah. same. I don't know, but I am using different products okay, a lot of times. You know what, though? But okay, so I, I'm i doing this page with this stencil, and yeah. I'm just thinking back to this page. Oh, and I'm goodness. pretty sure That's I used so the, the same exact color. same and same stencil. Same color, same stencil. That is hilarious. <laughs> I mean... I don't, know. I don't you, think I have any. You've got to look, and then you just go. My with other it. pages are in my other book, but um, excuse me, reach. You like what you like. You like what you like. Why? Why change it? When, no, when that's what you like. <sighs> okay. And I feel like that happens even more when I'm art journaling because I'm. I try not to overthink things as yeah. much when I'm art journaling. I'm just trying to like go with the flow and just right, kind of right. see where it takes me. And it takes me to the same place. <laughs> same place. 
<laughs> That's Dude, hilarious. I, I always reach for the stencil. Have you seen some of our other classes? Yeah, you like the dot. The Tim Holtz, it's, I think it's called like the faded dot or something. Mm. It's one of his older ones, but man, look I, at the use out of this. <laughs> I, I really like the Tim Holtz layered stencils. Yes. That's what this is too. Yeah, it's, it's, a, a, layered it's a layered stencil. stencil. Yeah, I use them I a like lot. It. Do you need this? Yeah. I'll probably use white too, actually. Let me just put a little bit right here. I like that. That's fine. Yeah, so I filled it in where I So you need to make sure you don't make your page exactly. Exactly. Like yeah. Well, I wasn't going to add that yellowy color. Oh, yeah. Just keep it more blue and white. Blue and white and mm. maybe other colors too, but mm -hmm. um, where'd that thing go? Oh. Mm. I guess I could just use another palette knife. Yeah, I think I think I only we grabbed have... one. I'm almost done. All well, right. I know I, I already said that, but yeah. okay. Now I'm actually <laughs> I think. Take a... Okay. Palette knives are really handy when you're using um different texture paste and stuff. And stencils. You can use a brush too. Um do that sometimes, but Usually, I like to grab. I feel a, like a palette knife's quicker. Know, like, tch, 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 yeah, <laughs> I think it's quicker too. Usually, I like to grab a little um, stencil bucket so oh, we yeah. can clean off our stencils, but I didn't. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning this off real quick so it doesn't get ruined. Because as I've shown, this is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this one's mine too. Oh, I forgot some baby wipes. Baby wipes are oh, really yeah. handy too, just to do like a little quick clean off. Yeah. Especially if you're going to use it again in like a different color. So it doesn't really matter if you want to get it all the way clean or not. And here you can see the cherry mat at work. Yeah. Cleans up pretty easy. I'm not using very quality paper towels, <laughs> but <gasps> as far yeah. as the cherry mat goes, it cleans up nice. Okay. Pretty good. That's fun. Right. Now back to this. Let's see. Don't really like those blobbies I added over there. I'm gonna take those off. <laughs> take it off, or you can cover it up. Yeah. I'm gonna just take that off. So I'm just gonna wipe it off with this, and then I might add some more of that same color blue oh, over blue. it. Yeah, just just so it doesn't look weird. I really like this white on top of my watercolor. It looks fun. Mm -hmm. But then I run into the problem like it almost looks too perfectly mm. in the corner. So like I'll add a tiny bit more. In a couple other spots because i don't want it to look too perfect like so there if you don't like something <laughs> just take it off take it off yes take it off cover it up never know the difference no one will know except you guys <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and then let's go back to this let's see i know i want to use this but how I'm just going to start by ripping it. If anybody knows what this machine is, Ooh. I would be curious to know yes. either of these. Hmm. Okay. I'm thinking maybe something like that. Maybe. So will the blue kind of show through, you think? I think so. I'm, I, I'm thinking so. Um, but we'll see. I will, because the page is somewhat clear, mm. and I'm wondering if when I glue it, it'll get even more clear. Mm -hmm. I want this nice and dry first, though. Just washing this off with dirty water. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. As long as you it's get like watercolor. the chunk off, yeah, 
Um, because then you can still use the stencil if it's just yeah. like stained, stained or whatever. It's still usable. Yeah. Just doesn't look very pretty anymore. Yeah. But... It just means you've used it a lot. Yeah. Okay. This one might just need to like soak in yeah. warm water. No, I'm see I really need my baby wipes. Got these. Lemon lime blossom. It smells safe. Okay. So let's see. I know I pulled out some multimedia mat. This is good. I like using it as a glue. Mm -hmm. Can you try? Sure, my. So I'm just going to paint it onto the back of my um, vellum page. Just paint it over here. And here we go. <laughs> okay, you can see my dots. Aren't those fun? Okay, I'm gonna get out my rice paper. This is from Stamperia. Um, which one is this? Insane name. Well, one of the pretty ones. That's one of the pretty ones. I can I can link this later, but it has like some scripty up here and some florals. And I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I might just like tear it and. Yeah, I feel like you can goes. use vellum paper pretty similarly as the um, as the rice paper. The rice paper, yeah. 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 Okay. So you see how thin that is? Super thin. Really fun to play with. Oh, that's cute. The I didn't know what the word said. It says you have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, love, love you, and with and wish from this day forth never to be parted from you. Hmm. Isn't that from um something? Is that from like Pride and Pe Prejudice? I don't know. I feel like that first part sounds super familiar. You yeah. bewitched me, body and soul. Is that from Pride and Prejudice? Do you guys know? <laughs> have you read the book or watched the movie? Hmm. Yes, it is gorgeous, Jennifer. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, I also need to decide what photo to use. I kind of like this one mm -hmm. of Emma holding Ava. Oh, very cute. See, I love sprays, all mm. types of sprays. Um. I'm just gonna spritz well, a little bit on I'm here. I'm moving my book over. <laughs> what color are you doing? This is a um, mineral from Ooh, Dina Wackley. That should look good with your blue. Okay. I'm just gonna turn off corner. Maybe I'll do a corner up here. Well, and I know we have some silver in here and that's that's one of my favorite sprays colors oh yeah silver. um here brushed pewter yeah. from uh tim holtz and it's like shiny mm -hmm. i really like that comes out like a little dart though yeah <laughs> but worth it worth it because i really like that shininess okay Let's see. Um, I'm just kind of ripping some other pieces. 
I might do like a horizontal piece kind of across maybe. And sometimes I like to keep the straight edge on one side. Just it's nice to line it up that way. You don't have to. I mean, you can do whatever you want. See like that. I like, I like adding. I like the look of um like old book pages mm -hmm. in here. So I'm just going to add some of those around here. Um, what are you using? You're using this. Yeah. Okay. Is this clean? Dirty. Oh, it, could, it could be either. A little guess Just a little blue on it. That's all right. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this across here. I want this under here. I'm going to just pull that up. Nothing is permanent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. You kind of can like tear it too as you go. Like I had a little bit too much here, so I a little bit more. Pretty. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do a corner over here. Kind of a nice way to start something. If you don't know where to start on your page, start in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of go work, in from work, there. Yeah, work around it. Yep. And then see what happens. Because there's a little bit of green in this paper, actually. Oh, yeah? Tiny bit. Oh. It's kind of like a... Well, you've got like... I don't even know what color this is. It's like a gray, brown... You've got like a little bit of, of a hint of green in your page already, too. Yeah. So that yeah. goes with it. Okay, let's see. Which washi tape... Um, we can use. Hi, someone be right with you. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I think I'm going to use your two. Okay. Now, what do I want to do? See, see, but also I don't know a good way to use the washi tape. Like oh. I feel like where would you? It's too it? too bordery sometimes. Well, you could do in smaller pieces. Yeah. Or put a bunch of them together to like make something. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you have a paper trimmer. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know where I would want. Add washi right now either. I feel like that should be a challenge. Like use washi on everything. On a, <laughs> yeah, all the things. Here we go. Okay, just cut my photo down a little bit more. Just adding a little bit to start. I think I'll add another section somewhere. I think I kind of like it on this side. Um, now I want to add another medium to this. Mm. Let's see. I like using oil pastels with here, like just for um adding some marks, like mark oh, making. Yeah. Um, might do some of that. So there's the heating. Right on my lap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to add more watercolor here because it's looking funny mm -hmm. to me. Like, mm -hmm. uneven. I don't know. So, I'll just add a tiny bit more over here. What's nice about watercolor is it does dry pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't use a heater. And I might even go over my um, rice paper a little bit. So, yeah. I don't know how that looks. Mm hmm 
That's kind of nice. That's a nice thing about the rice paper. Yeah, you can you can, you can put, kind of tint it. Yeah, to you whatever can put color. Whatever yeah, paper. you can paint over it. You can, yeah, yeah. See what happens. I keep looking at these. Um, they're some hinge clips, and I wanted to kind of try them on my page. I don't know oh. if it'll be too big though. Oh yeah. Um, like too bulky. But I just keep staring at them, and I <laughs> like the look of them. Keep staring at something. It's just it's a sign. It's like you gotta it's use it. calling for you. Yeah. So even if it's kind of just like a bookmark on my page. Oh that, yeah, that'd be that like might be okay, bookmark. and then yeah. I could add like yeah, I don't know some other things coming down from it, mm -hmm. maybe. Do you have scissors? Mm -hmm. we, probably not. I might not have any. Oh here, so I wanted to trim this. Here we go. Okay. That better. I don't know. My balance seemed off. So okay. And I think I'm gonna put my photo over here on this page, and then I might. I don't know. I might mad it with something. I might not. Hmm. My page is still hmm. pretty wet. <laughs> <laughs> Yours always do seem to be. There is always a way. Pretty wet, yeah. Because, yeah, I've, I'm waiting for these, but I don't want to just smear in all of my paint. Right. So I guess I'll just keep drying a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm opening up some of the new um, these days from Coco Vanilla Studio. They just, they have some really pretty papers. I mean, some really this one caught my eye Ooh, i really cool. like that Black one i really like that. like that Maybe that's a possibility or um oh there's so many i won't use this today but i definitely use yeah that. there's so many this huge polka dots are cute yeah Ooh, I man. haven't gotten a good enough look at that collection. I know, that I haven't really cute. looked up very close yet, but these are great. Yeah. That's cute. I think. Okay, so I'm ready for this. Um, I hear a lot of people are like, they don't really know what to do like with mark making. Um, I just kind of just do it. <laughs> I just kind of do it. Uh, if you don't know... Um, start where does with like, start it, like, like you're saying like you can start with dots. yes lines dots um, squares swirls um, you can you start can, in your corner yep yeah, that's just gonna say start with yeah. start in your corner I'm just, I like going to lines mm -hmm. okay actually I'm having a flashback again are you <laughs> look at the same words. the same lines <laughs> okay you can't do lines do something else I already started my lines <laughs> make it into something I don't know um. I love okay, this wood. I like lines. Look at this wood paper. Isn't that so nice? I'm going to hoard all this wood paper. Oh, a I lot of collections lately have been having wood paper, and I really like I all really of them. I really like it. I think it's so versatile. Like, yeah. You can really use it for a lot of different things. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to back my photo with this. So, yeah, I'm just drawing some lines on here. Sometimes I'm afraid to make marks because I don't want to like mess up my background. Yeah, I think I don't know. having the idea of like this just being an art journal makes yeah. it a little bit easier for me. Like, I don't think I could do this on like a scrapbook layout or mm -hmm. like a really finished thing. But with just me calling it a art journal, mm -hmm. I feel a lot freer to test things and possibly ruin things. <laughs> Um, a lot of times if I just really don't like it, I just sew over the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And I don't feel too bad about it. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing I'll do in my art journal. I like this wood. That's fun. Okay. There's just some lines. I think it 
Yeah, it's just adding more um, texture patterns. Mm -hmm. Just I went diagonal across this whole thing. Oh yeah, I like that look diagonal. And then I'll layer on top of it again with something else. I cut uh, this. <laughs> this is so cute. These little moments are our big memories in the making. There is um just a little cut apart sheet in the six by eight pad. So I'm going to use that somewhere on here too. And I'm just adding some white dots around here too. Um, I won't add as many, just a few on where I had like my really dark blue. Mm -hmm. Just for like another layer. Mm -hmm. I like yeah, all the I like, layers. I, yeah, I like the white. Here we go. I know I also want to use some of these metallic flakes on here. Ooh. Uh, I think this copper. I'm obsessed with those. Yeah, I think this copper color will stand out really nicely with this blue. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead with that. There is some gilding glue. But I don't I don't have it out. Yeah, so I'm just I'm going to use <laughs> you this can use multimedia mat. Yeah. You really can use other stuff. Yeah. Just yeah, when you're just putting it out like this. Yeah. So let's see, where do I want it? You know, I want some over here. So maybe in this corner. I don't want a ton because this stuff is very shiny. Mm. I might like put some rice paper around this somehow. But then is that too much rice paper? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Can you have too much rice paper? <laughs> I feel like you can cover your whole page with rice paper right. and still make it work. Yeah. I mean, mm. yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm just going to kind of see. Because I like this look of this kind of like on the corner mm -hmm. like that somehow maybe more like maybe a like sharper diagonal i don't really know what i'm doing i don't really remember where i put my glue <laughs> <laughs> just dabbing it around and we're seeing where it sticks <laughs> we're such professionals here <laughs> okay did i no nope, okay. not over there okay I kind of, you know, maybe I'll just glue it on like that. Nothing. I just like bolded it over, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on like that. Just for since it's easy and. That look of it folded over the edge. So let's see. I think that's all of the shininess I want. Ooh. Um, usually when you're using the gilding glue, you put on the glue, let the glue completely mm. dry, and then put this on top of it. But because I'm using the um, what is this? The matte multimedia mat. I am going to let it fully dry. Well, I wanted to put. It on while it, the flakes on while it's still wet and then I let it fully dry before brushing the excess off mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit and we'll see if I want to add some more I probably will because why not why not that's our other motto <laughs> why, why not <laughs> that's a good motto isn't it you right you like it yeah. do we have foam tape this is not what I want um, I'm gonna pop in, this up a little in bit. The in the office. Okay. That's fine. Um oh we have foam bats. Oh. That works too. Yep. Cherry dot. These are really nice because they have these um little tabs on them so they make it easy to pull mm -hmm. it off. Except if your if your hands are all messy like ours, you might have a little difficulty <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> you Okay, I'm going to use this stamp. Did I use 
I now I keep checking that other page because I'm like, did I, what you I did. I used yeah. the stamp. <gasps> That's hilarious. You start over there. You're pulling up. How long ago did you do that page? That's been we. I did this weeks. one on live. Yeah, it says September 2020, but I don't. I don't no. think it was that far ago. No. Um, I think I, I probably know. made it. I know I made it on live in one of these classes. Yeah. That's so funny. It was probably, yeah, um, maybe six months ago, around there. Because we haven't done a journaling, or what is this, art journaling class for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think w with that class, we called it junk journaling. Oh, yeah, I think we did. Okay. I really like the look of this and the Ooh. look of it not being perfect yes i feel like i like stamping yeah. when it doesn't need to be perfect a scripty stamp i feel like is like you need a scripty stamp yeah like a good scripty stamp that you can just use whenever yeah because i know i use this all the time and it just gives you you know like that little look of kind of like writing a without writing yeah yeah, yeah. You don't need to be able to read it. So, especially when I'm going for a more distressed look, yeah. which really, I think I am today. So, I'm just going to wipe off my stamp a little bit. I probably got some paint. <laughs> I got some flakes in here too. Yeah. Some metallic <laughs> flakes. It's gonna be surprising. <laughs> um, I'm just going to give it a little dry again, and then I can brush off my flakes. Me too. I'm kind of just layering some different things. Yeah. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. I think that's pretty dry. Now I just take a um, dry brush and I can just brush off the extra. Sometimes when I'm layering, I like to have straight edges with torn edges. Just to mm -hmm. vary it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I Sometimes I don't like too much torn or too straight. Yeah, yeah. I like a little bit of both. I yep. think they look. I mean, nice I together. definitely love a torn edge, but yeah. there is a point where it's like, hmm, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I really like how this, um, the flakes are like going into the ridges of the uh, texture paste I laid out here. Oh yeah. So that's pretty cool if you lay it, layer it on top of texture. Okay. Um. Let's see now. We got. Making that. Just trying to play around with placement now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like to use um, liquid glue when I'm not exactly sure where, where I want something, just because you can move it a tiny bit before it dries all the way. And this one is our favorite. We, we're always using this one in mm. our class. So I think it's out of stock right now. Oh, the last no. time I checked, I was real sad. Oh no! So, gotta order some more when it gets in stock. I might add this little banner. Let's see. Okay, so that's I really funny. like this. Um, all these this ephemera pack. It's Tim Holtz. And I think it's really good for art journals. Mm -hmm. Like just the black and white, so then it can go with so oh, many things. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting glue over. Uh -huh. 
Okay. We'll just add those two. And now we have some. Oh, I forgot about my little this thing. I could have it layered around this. Ooh. Like, so it looks like this thing's holding it in. Yeah, that'd be cute. I kind of wanted to see how this would look when my book is closed first. Mm -hmm. And now I think my page is dry enough where hopefully it won't ruin it. <laughs> so yeah, I think that looks fine. I have a little, I mean, I have other things poking out of here. I'll leave that there and add this. I feel like this is looking really similar to one of my other ones. I've made yeah, before. yeah, I'm, yeah, I feel like I, I'm, I'm picturing you're the one yep, that you made. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. I can see it. It's a different photo and it's a different background. <laughs> it's just it's similar in my color choices. Mm -hmm. But look at me, I'm using washi tape. We'll stick this piece kind of underneath here. I'm gonna ask what books do we use? Um, the books that we're working in, this is a Finna Bear um, mixed media art journal. Uh, so it has white pages and it has craft pages. Uh, this is one that I made with the We Are Memory Keepers cinch um, maker thing and a resin color. And then I just put watercolor paper in here because watercolor paper will hold up a lot of mm -hmm. mixed media. And it, watercolor paper is one of those papers where it just feels so nice to work mm -hmm. on because it's so thick yeah i know i love working in on a thick piece of paper yeah okay yeah this to my other side somewhere what's this i don't know where this is really hard to <laughs> to find the start <laughs> my, let's see i wanted to add something else on this under this little tab maybe i'll add a tag or something hmm. well, now i don't know where to put this could add i don't want to cover up my coin i don't want to cover up my my little banner thing no, i'll just put it over here i'll just put it here and not have uh, extra things on yeah. it. Um, and then, no, I got some stick. I'll be right back. I need some stickers. Stickers. Maybe I'll tuck this. The fun thing with washi is you can kind of tuck and layer it different ways. Or maybe I want it on top. I really don't know. I might tuck it under here. Then I'm covering up my blue. Hmm. Maybe just. Oh, I couldn't find the stickers, but I found these beetles. Oh. <laughs> That's Actually, random. The stickers might be in here. Or might not. No, but I think they're in the office too. Oh, okay. Oh, well. And some, like, uh, phrases. Sometimes you just need like a, oh, yeah. a phrase, those Tim Holtz phrases. Oh yeah, you should go grab those because I might want to use them. Yeah, too. I okay. can grab them. Oh okay, BRB. Okay, very right back. <laughs> um, so I don't know though if these might be too thick to use, but I do like them. They're like just different bugs. This is a maybe. Yeah, these ones. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, they're yeah, black and white ones. Yeah. So you and there's a bunch of cool phrases. Sometimes the phrases are um. Like cheesy? In, too cheesy for me. <laughs> yeah. Um. Most of those are pretty good though. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, yeah. Sometimes they're. I don't know. Just too. 
Too cutesy. Yeah. Or the ones that I think are super funny are the um the delusions ones. Oh yeah, those are great. <laughs> those are fun to look through too. Let's talk soon because I miss the sound of my voice. <laughs> But you, I'm not quite so snarky, so I like. Yeah, <laughs> I like yeah. using those. Yeah, that's kind of hard to decide what to yeah. use. Might just stick the beetle under here, so it's like just hanging on by this clip. That might be easier than trying to glue it. Oh yeah, because glue can get to be a mess. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, can you see, can you see it enough? Yeah. Or I guess it, yeah. it could also just be like a second thought, like, oh, there's a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this one. This is cute. I feel so lucky. So I like gross. the black background pages in here. Yeah. Uh, like the back, black um words. I like that there are both. Yeah. Okay, I want to do something with this over here. Maybe I want to bring the wood over here. Uh, Jennifer says she loves the bugs. Yeah, they're so fun. fun. Yeah, they're like, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'm not super afraid of bugs, but like a, a good amount of it. <laughs> but good amount it's like, of I feel afraid. like when it's, when it's a fake one, it it just makes it a little more whimsical. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't love bugs. I don't love them. They Are can you... go do their own thing, just not. Yeah. Not by me. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just tear my wood paper on two sides. I like I'm gonna that. use this. It's little things that make a big life because it's a little bug. <laughs> yeah. I don't I like know. It. Or is I that like weird? Because, no. I mean, little, little bug could have a big life. It could have a big life. Okay. But I wanted one about this length, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. You got to look at it so it makes sense with your words. Make yeah. sense. Plus, you got to. Where you're putting it. Yeah. It's yeah. got to look good. A lot of things just look good everywhere. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still art. It's still art journal. You want it to look mm -hmm. good. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think that draws more your attention a little bit more to the bug. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put some washi on this. Terry said, just not spiders. I oh. feel like, for me, spiders, I don't mind. Okay. Because, I, I don't know, I, I just think to. of... I think spiders are kind of just creepy. They're a little creepy, but, like, mm. in a cool way. No. Not when they're crawling on you. Ooh, the other day Ooh. I had a really big spider crawling on my shoulder. Ooh. Not saying that I particularly <laughs> like that. Like, I would rather have it not be doing that. <laughs> But it's better than like I don't know, like a giant beetle or something. I don't like beetles. Oh. See, I think I'd rather have a beetle than a spider. Spiders, um, I just feel like, because spiders do so much good things, like eat mosquitoes. Yeah, and they can do that outside. Yeah, just not in my house. Yeah, why are you in my house? Yeah, just go outside and eat mosquitoes. Am I? Let's see. Am I done with this paint? It might be. Ooh. I love all the layering. There's yeah, a lot of different and dimensions going on. Yeah, I've got a bit of the um metallic flakes mm -hmm. stuck a little bit all over, but I kind of like. That. I yeah, I like it. I could. I don't know. I never. I there's like a really fine middle of too much and not enough of that stuff <laughs> i know and I don't but you know. can get too much real fast yeah so. you definitely can and then your whole page is just shiny mm -hmm. but i think this might be okay um one thing i'm not super sure on is i've kind of got like an x going i've got my mm. 
I like this. how it brings your eye in though this way. So it could either be a good thing or a bad thing. I like it. Maybe I'll add a tiny bit more right there mm. of the shiny so it looks less like a X. And then I think I'll be good. Yeah, I think I'm almost done. I'm kind of just adding I don't know. Like those last minute little mm -hmm. things. I feel like you can do that forever I know, and ever. I know. But hmm. What does it mean? And I'm just going to try to pick up all of my extra um, flakes that got blown all about the table here. Mm -hmm. Jennifer and Terry talking about bugs. <laughs> yeah, it depends if they bite and not the yeah. big black ones. Yeah. Oh. If they bite, no good. Um... Well, we're in Michigan. There's yeah, not have, there's not too uh, many like bug huge. huge bugs that but I mean there's mosquitoes, but there's not like this. I've seen some big spiders, but I mean yeah. we, we don't have a, but like, like Texas. I think or, like, the only down south. spiders that are poisonous are are um, black widows. Oh yeah, we have those, right? And we have yeah. those. I mean that that we have other yeah. places definitely have. Yeah, you know, but that we have. So maybe that's why I'm not too scared yeah. of spiders. Because I know I won't die. <laughs> <laughs> and they eat the mosquitoes. True, true. Which I really want to die. Yeah. Don't want mosquitoes. Okay. I think that's... Well... That might be too much. <laughs> might pick some of that off. <gasps> Okay, like that. I'm just adding more words on here. I don't know. Why not? Why not? Okay, I think that's good. I just like how that white pops mm -hmm. on my background. Anything else? Um, I glue this down a little bit. Do you have any like pearly things or like um this yes. or? Uh, there's also sequins. Sequins. Oh. Ooh, sequins. I feel like I used this on a different page that was similar. So something different. <laughs> oh, there's these two. Um, those are great. Actually, these kind of go better with it. Yeah. Uh, is this the same color? Yeah. Oh. So if we just two packets of that. Yeah, these are the pink fresh little um what are they called? Sequins? Well, they're kind um, of what are they? Sequins. They're not they're... sequins. They're like because they're they're like little they're diamonds that are flat on the back. They're just diamonds. They're diamonds. Dang. Yes. Um yeah, I we had what they're called. Like some plain silver diamonds. I might add those, but I don't think we do. Gems? Are they called gems? Gems, maybe. Is that what they're called? They could be called gems. I could just be making that up. I don't know. I feel like gems is more accurate than diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to leave my page as is. Yeah. I've got quite a I bit like of layers it. going. I like it. Um... Yeah, and that's just, like, the thing I like about art journals, it doesn't have to have necessarily a purpose, mm -hmm. or, like, it's not about the finished product, it's, like, the process getting there, Yeah, and you're enjoying your time just making. Yes, that's what I love. I love that you don't really know what it's going to look like either until you get going. Yeah. Okay. I still bust at this for a while, but I think. That, are they think rhinestones? Done. I feel like they could be oh, rhinestones. rhinestones. That could be that the word. <laughs> We're so good with words. <laughs> that could be it. Yeah. Well, they're pink fresh. They're pink fresh, and Little they're really pink. pretty. They are really pretty. I like this. Pink fresh has some really pretty things right now. Yeah. And they're. I like all of the shininess. Okay, I probably should just be done. Stop adding. Oh. 
tweezers are probably a lot easier to use with these mm -hmm. but if you're very sticky fingers yeah with texture paste all over <laughs> yeah okay i think i'm gonna stop there for now i don't know if i'm gonna add more now yeah cute so I get to the point, I'm like, well, I don't want to add too much. Okay. Isn't that cute? I got cute. some wood in there, my blues and greens. Yeah. And, yeah. And that was with having zero plan. <laughs> yeah. Like, I brought some it's photos, fun. and yeah, I thought maybe zero. some watercolor, maybe no some rice paper, but very fun. Yeah. No plans. No plan. Go in with the art, art journal, journal yes. flow. Art That's, journal flow, yeah. yes. Yes. So we hope we have inspired you and gave you some ideas what to put in your art journal, junk journal. How to start. How even. to start it. Sometimes just starting is the mm -hmm. hardest part. You just just go in for it. Yeah. Yeah. There are no rules. Mm -hmm. Um, Just do pick something that you like, like a certain color maybe or yeah, feel. Yeah. I'd go with color. I like going with a color. Yeah. Um, pick a few different colors around it. Um, and then yeah see what we can add if you want to add texture if you want to add different photos or, or you can just some stick to all, paper. just stick to paper stuff too that's yeah. fine i really like the rice paper yeah this is really the rice fun paper gave a cool look yeah mm -hmm. i'll probably use the rest of this some, on another page yeah i really like this one figure out where that quote's from i know i feel like it's from pride and prejudice i feel like it is i'll have to look that up okay uh, that's all we have for today. Um, join us next week. What's our class next week? It might be Forget. cherry box classes, that or it could be, or is it the gel press? Oh no, it's gel press. Oh. It's gel press. That'll be so. That fun. will be That'll fun. Be so fun. Uh, yeah, you can check our uh, upcoming classes on our classes page, acherrynot.com slash classes, and you'll see all of our past classes too. They're all they're linked, mm -hmm. linked to YouTube or Facebook or wherever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and let us know what you're gonna make in your art journals this week. And tag us, tag us, tag us in yeah. your pictures. We'd love to see them. Yes, can't wait. All right, Bye. we'll see you next time. Bye.